What's going on guys? Jesse Haynes here with Cardlines.com and I'm kicking off a video series introducing the eBay vault. We're going to go over everything from a like high level overview to how to use the vault to buy, sell, and flip your sports cards to make some quick profit while saving yourself time and money that will be spent on fees. The eBay vault's amazing. It's so exciting actually that we teamed up with eBay to help promote the vault. So we're going to work with you guys to show you exactly what it takes to use it and we'll start right here. Here's the main eBay vault landing page. All you have to do to sign up is you just go here and there should be a thing that says enroll. I've already done it. You missed out on some super engaging video content that I did offline, but basically you click on it, you opt in, you enable two-factor authentication on your eBay account if you haven't already done that. I recommend pro tip, have your eBay password on hand. I did not, and once you enabled 2FA, I got logged out on all my platforms, so I had to reset my password. Um, but it was probably due time because I've probably had the same one for like 10 years. So it was good. Uh, it worked out. So just have it on hand. Know what your password is, folks. So in you, when you opt in, you get in on this like first mover advantage, basically. It's this new service, so they have a lot of awesome perks going on right now. Basically, the gist of it is you buy your cards and you can send them to the vault where they will be safely stored and insured at this big facility in Delaware. And you're not going to pay sales taxes storage or selling fees on anything that's stored in the vault which just translates to more savings you can quickly uh, list and buy cards that are in the vault and exchange ownership instantly if you're listing the listings will be auto populated based on um, some criteria for the cards that are accepted and approved in the vault and of course it is a climate controlled insured and protected environment so you get your cards uh, protected and watched over at all times kind of removes the hassle and the you know um, Stress of having something happen to your cards if you have a large collection You don't necessarily want that like chilling in your bedroom uh, So all you have to do pretty simple straightforward process that we wrote about on cardlines.com and kind of took a deep dive into hope you can check out that article link below but first thing you just enroll and Collect your cards all you have to do is buy a card that's graded here if we scroll down to the bottom, it shows you exactly what cards are accepted. Except singles, graded cards, and graded autograph, relic, and patch cards, $250 in value. Um, basically, anything graded by the major grading companies. So if you have a card that you buy on eBay that's cost $250 or more, you can send it to the vault from the checkout. So once you enroll, you buy your cards, you send it to the vault where they're going to be stored safely and securely, and then you can enjoy the perks of the vault, such as what we talked about, instantly buying and selling your cards using these auto-populated listings. And the best part is if somebody buys the card that you list that's in the vault, eBay is going to handle the shipping. You don't have to mess with it. So not only are you dodging the selling fees of like 10 to 12%, kind of depending on how you look at it, you're also not having to hassle with the, oh, my card is old, so I'm going to pack it this afternoon and send it out. For a lot of us that have jobs or families, which I do not have, but I at least work a lot, we don't always have the time to, you know, package cards and get them sent out on the road. So this is going to be a major time saver. And as mentioned, there's some of these awesome programs that are going on a little bit early. So if you sign up now and you're like the first mover in on this like cutting edge of signing up for the eBay vault, then you get in on some of this cool stuff. So for example, there's no vault buyer's premium until uh, spring of 2023. After that, you're going to be paying 3% for purchases, which still is not bad at all compared to, you know, what, what typical fees are for transactions here. You get free storage until 2024. So June of 2024, you'll probably have to start paying for storage. That's a long time. We can cross that road when we get there. And you get clear withdrawal fees. So you know exactly how much it's going to cost if you have a card in the vault and you want to get it shipped to you. Uh, that's cool. One of the concerns I had about the vault, which I expressed in our detailed review, is that as a collector of cards, I like to actually have my cards. Like part of the fun of collecting is being able to thumb through cards and see who you have. Um, sometimes you find gems that you forgot about, or if a player breaks out, you're like, oh, hey, I got this rookie of... Last year for me, it was Taylor Heineke. I found a few Taylor Heineke rookies. I made quite a bit of money off them while he was starting and playing well. So you lose out on some of that when you have a have the vault but it's not necessarily like the nft experience because the cards that you buy and own in the vault are real cards and they're backed by a tangible asset that you can access and have sent to you if you so desire so that's how it is and as of right now like i mentioned anything you buy on ebay can be sent to the vault as long as it meets the eligibility criteria but we cannot do direct submissions as in sending stuff from your own collection until sometime in 2023 but that's going to be big time as well if you want to go like 
full send and really lean into the vault, you could send your Big Daddy cards from your personal collection to the vault to be, you know, archived, stored safely and secured and managed by eBay there. So that's where we're headed. And now, super exciting, we're going to actually test it out here. I have never done this before, so you're going to get my real-time reaction. So I've talked about this before in a couple different eBay videos. Um, we're going to... I'm, I'm actively trying to build out a set of the 1986-87 Fleer Basketball with every card a PSA 7. I'm trying to do that because it's a bazillion dollars to go any higher than that, but you know, everything in PSA 7 sounds pretty cool, pretty reasonable. One of the cards of that set is the Charles Barkley rookie card, and I just so happened to find one that was $250, uh, which should be, since it's graded by PSA and $250, then it should be eligible to send to the vault once I buy it. Did a little price checking just to make sure I wasn't significantly overpaying since this is kind of an impulse buy, but it looks like one sold semi-recently for 265, so feel like we're, you know, on, on a good track here. So I'm going to buy this card now uh, and click on send to the eBay vault and wait for just a minute. All right, cool. We're going to... Uh, quickly uh, hide all my payment information and we'll pay with PayPal credit. All right, I'm going to pan back to this screen for just a minute while I am um, completing the transaction. Something about sharing all my credit card information with the internet doesn't necessarily feel like the smartest idea, but this transaction is clocking in at $254.45, which is the exact price of the card plus the shipping. So, as mentioned, there are no fees. This is actually amazing. This is really, really cool. Um, completed the transaction. We're going back to the screen here. So, sending to the eBay vault is checked. Your order's in. It is being shipped to the eBay vault. And then, to check what's in the vault, I don't think it will appear yet since it's not logged. Um, but you can just go on the drop-down My eBay, and then you can search the eBay vault, click here, you land on this landing page, start using the vault. There's a shop eligible item, so you can look through some featured items that are eligible for the vault. But when I was looking through this earlier, um, it wasn't pulling every single card that uh, was eligible, at least I didn't think. I didn't see that Charles Barkley card when I was searching through here. There's only 4,500 results, and I'm guessing there's more than that many cards listed on eBay that qualifies. Uh, but who knows? That's where we're at right now, and we're going to continue this journey in the next video, so be sure to come back. We're going to be talking about more user guides of how to use the vault, and you're going to learn with me. It's going to be a lot of fun, so looking forward to it, and come back soon.